Hello, my name is Mark Buckland, one of the business development managers here at Hikvision UK and Ireland. Thank you for taking the time today to watch this Hike Central uh, version 2.4 update webinar. We have two major releases a year. This one not only includes even more functionality, but also how we've further improved the ease of use for end users of the Hike Central system. There'll be a lot of great information on this webinar and afterwards you'll be able to re-watch it or point others in your teams so that they can watch it as well and all we'll start selling even more Hike Central. So I'll start with an overview. There are six major improvements highlighted on this slide which I'll go through individually throughout this webinar. Additionally, for those that have used the Hike Central FOC sign software, uh, we now in the UK have uh, introduced a license called Hike Central Professional Digital Signage. Now this comes with five units uh, and base and you can add as many more as required. For those that don't know, digital signage is where you use, uh, well you can use our network monitors or our networked monitor control boxes and you can display CCTV cameras anywhere you like. Uh, you could also, on those same displays, you could broadcast important messages. So like on a schedule, on a schedule uh, like fire alarm today at 10 a.m., just have that rolling along a banner along the bottom. Or you could use it for marketing purposes, uh, like advertising the special offers you've got in retail. Or if it's in a restaurant, you can have exciting new menus which, uh, which change every day. Or a, mix of any, or a mix of any of them. So for those that are used to putting together like a PowerPoint slide, that's how the digital signage works. Put together a PowerPoint slide, display that anywhere for, via the network. Now, let me introduce the updates. First one, visualize monitoring. Now, the first time I saw this, I thought the Tom Cruise movie, Minority Report, when he was searching for someone on a big see-through, like a glass screen, a touch, glass touchscreen video wall. He was zooming in and out with his hands out of a massive scene trying to find people. Well, think of this one as Minority Report, chapter two. So from this slide, you can see now, you've got one huge uh, uh, panoramic looking at the whole city here. Now, this is one of our Panaview cameras. So instead of using an e-map and cameras plotted on it, you're actually using a live video stream from the panoramic Panaview camera. So you see the whole scene. And then you can control, select, view any camera you want from that screen. So, uh, for instance, if you've got a PTZ camera, you can simply just draw a little box uh, on an area you want to zoom in and look at, and the PTZ will drive straight into that area, all being driven from that, uh, that one big, big overview. You can also add more maps and more cameras within it as you click, click through. And the best way to show that augmented reality is to play a video. So I'm now going to play a video uh, to, to show this. Here it is, augmented reality. So this is one of our Panaview cameras looking at a massive area. We've got a PTZ camera we've just clicked on from that uh, the big overview. So instead of using a, a map, we just clicked on a picture and brought up that PTZ. And now we can, we can get that detail. We can bring up more big pictures like that as well, if you like, by using the e-map down on the bottom left. So we can look at a different part of the city centre. Or we could bring up a list of all the different, you call it something a little bit more logical than area one, two, and three, and four. But this is all about visual. It's all about being able to use the visuals to be able to, to bring up cameras. So across this one big view there, we're bringing up all those parking lots, one, two, three, and four. Now, parking lot one, two, and three, and four, if you just had those on a camera list, it'd be very difficult to know which one's which. But when you can see the image, you just click on that parking lot. You don't know what one it's called. You don't care what that one's called. You just want to know if there's a camera there so you can get more detail. We can make out what sort of car that was or make out who those people are that are, that are moving through that scene. Or we could do tracking. We just put a little box around that person. PTZ is now zoomed in on that person and it's going to track them through that scene. The whole scene as far as that camera can see. Now we're showing alarms. So again, all on that one big screen as alarms are coming up. Remember, you're not limited to just external cameras on this augmented reality either, because you can click on the building to bring up the internal cameras as we're doing there, to show the motion of the people that move around there. Imagine doing this now on a touchscreen monitor, or a touchscreen monitor that's glass and virtually see-through. Hopefully now you'll understand why I said it reminded me of that Tom Cruise film earlier. And now this slide's all about our digital dashboard, 
with moving graphics, which makes it a much more visual way of navigating through those menus. It's another way of simplifying the operating of such a powerful VMS system. When you've got so many features, you can now tailor each dashboard to each role. E.g., if you've got a security officer, they might not want to see uh, certain things, so why put that on a dashboard uh, for them to wonder what it is? Just put on what they need to see, and we'll put it in a nice graphical way. For instance, here, you can see the people that are, uh, the client that's logged onto this one needs to see vehicle parking spaces statistics and the visitor statistic overviews in a real-time snapshot. I'm going to play a video now which will better explain it. Moving through the six big improvements, the next one is titled Professional Applications. So, the next few slides, they're mainly related to your retail clients, which is a big market for CCTV. Retailers usually have limited budgets. By using Hike Central, you can uh, help offer them some useful analytical data, as well as great video images for uh, reducing their stock shrinkage. Now, retailers like analytical data, and I'm gonna show you the next few slides uh, how this might help to release some budgets uh, from other departments, perhaps. Some of the data you can help them with uh, is things like uh, not just people counting, but how many people went into the store and where they go when they went in the store. Using our fisheye cameras, you can produce a global heat map. So you could have the whole store laid out with uh, just uh, showing the green and red and what are the busy areas, what are the quieter areas, uh, how long people spend. Uh, in, in certain areas. When they first walk in the store, do they go left? Do they go right? You can link the EPOS transactions. You point the sale transactions to the, to the customers. So you've got, I don't know, let's say 100 customers have came in, but only four people have, uh, have gone to the tills. Well, that's some data that's useful because you might need to analyze what you're doing when the customer does come in. Because the most difficult thing is to get customers into that store. So it might be that they've come in and they've seen a long queue. So they've turned around. That's what it'd be for me when I go shopping. I, so using our queue management cameras, you could see how long the queues are. You could see if on different days they're longer than other days. If there's a different till operator on, their queues are longer than other people's queues. So it might be that they're, um, they need a little bit of help training on how to get the customers through the tills quickly. Also using our seven line cameras, uh, you could not just know how many people have come in, you could know roughly uh, what sort of age they are, put them into a, a group in, or what gender. Again, more useful data for retailers to know, all being centrally managed by Hike Central. To help improve and simplify the setup for your engineers, we've now given the option to select retail. Uh, so all reports are relevant to retail or public mode. So they don't, um, so it's a bit like a wizard. Think of it like a wizard. So if you're doing the retailer, select retail. If you're not, then do the public mode, and that'll help when you're, when you're setting that up. I think the slide explains that quite nicely. as per that introduction slide. Here's a short video showing how a single store could receive the information on a live dashboard. You can also see the visual of the store showing things like the people counting, the queue analysis, the heat map, uh, how many people walked past the store, how many people entered, even on different floors. This could be another piece of data that could help the retailer know how uh, to attract more people or what they need to do to perhaps attract more people uh, to get them coming in rather than walking past. I sometimes use the example of a shop manager being asked how busy they were last week compared to the week before. Uh, now, without Hike Central and all this useful analytics, you could get a response like, oh, last week was quite busy, uh, but it was a bit busier the week before. It's a bit woolly. Whereas with Hike Central, you could say, well, actually, 987 people came in last week. 1,149 came in the week before. Uh, but we'll also add on to that, only four people walked past the store without coming in last week compared to 96 the week before. Here's a short video just to uh, show you some of those intuitive reports that you can run for that single store.
So that was a single store. How about if you've got multiple stores? Now with this, instead of the regional manager having to ring or ask each store manager for data, with Hike Central, the data can be automatically generated and emailed as a CSV file. From this, they can then analyze their stores. They can compare one store to another store. They could also set up their own dashboard as shown on the screen here, so they can uh, do a quick view for detailed comparison. Everything can be set up by your client so they can follow their own store chain logic to generate their own retail specific dashboard. The features available from the cameras they've installed will be shown for them to technically evaluate which, which features they want to report on. And this is probably my favorite uh, update with Hike Central version 2.4. Now this is when you need to find uh, specific people of interest. Now sometimes when you need to find specific people of interest, the operator is given quite limited information. But with Hike Central and the right NVRs, you can search using this newly designed quick search interface. So there's no need to go to the specific II searching pages. This finds all the faces and human shapes. They can then tick boxes or up to 14 boxes to narrow the search further, such as uh, gender, age group, the top color, backpack. So in this example, they're told the person of interest is a male dressed in black, wearing glasses. But for a really quick search, and I'm gonna play a video shortly on it, you see the person live or in playback you can click on them and then click search now that will go into hike central and look across all the cameras and find that person and bring back all their information without having to select all those 14 14 searches as long as you're using the right mvis or seven line cameras that is a game changer as far as i'm concerned for finding people let's play a video This one's about integration. So if you've got any clients with specific requests that aren't available on Hike Central, previously we'd have to integrate those requests using our uh, Hike Vision Embedded Open Platform, or HEOP. So the other software company would develop the software and then it'd be loaded onto our cameras as an edge application. Now we have an open AI platform, so it can be developed by using AI. Example here, escaping cheap. Once an alarm or event comes through to Hike Central, then the powerful alarm and event linkage can be used. For example, alarm comes through, we can now sound the alarm, turn some lights on or lock a gate. Also, when we're using the search tools, we could just search a simple event search, perhaps call it sheep escaped. Body camera patrolling. Now body cameras have become far more commonly used here in the UK. There's a lot of feedback on how well they can reduce the aggressive behavior uh, that you can get from some uh, disgruntled, uh, let's say, shoppers. Um, you can see from this slide, all the lines in red are new features. I'm going to highlight the live patrol and how they can now send an SOS, alarm tracked on a map, and include who it is that logged onto that camera. So not only, not only now are you able to uh, see it on playback, but you can also see it live on a map. <laughs> nice new feature, uh, video wall. Now, I often refer to video walls as vanity walls because sometimes people or installers or end users just want hundreds of cameras on displays and security teams have to sit there looking at these hundreds of cameras and try and spot uh, something that's going on, uh, you know, a crime. That's been proven the average attention span uh, of a boring task like that is 20 minutes. So with this new feature, we can now turn that vanity wall into a video wall with useful information. If you see something on a tablet, you could just, from the tablet, throw it straight up onto that video wall so you can share it straight away with the security team, rather than the old way where you'd have to, I don't know, ring into the security team or stand there and say, uh, can you bring up that camera looking at car park three? You know, the one, the one at the back near the fire exit on the second floor. Oh, which one? Nah, you've got it on your tablet, share it straight away, throw it straight up onto the screen.
one of the first major improvements was making it even more user friendly. Now, a lot of VMS platforms can look very similar. Now, you probably know the sort. You've got a tree of devices down the left hand side and a view of the cameras on the right with various multi screens. You can do that with Hike Central, but with Hike Central, it's so much more than just video management. To name a few, you can manage access control, alarms, intercoms, car park management, time and attendance, uh, visitor management, uh, or health monitoring of all the devices, etc. So it's great to know Hike Central can do all this, but how can you view all this information and make it relevant to the person logged on? Well, you can see on this slide, you can simply set up a dashboard. Uh, a dashboard is it's unique to each user that logs on, and they can display exactly what they need to have. So uh, and then let's say, for instance, you could set up on via role. So if you've got seven receptionists, you just set up the role receptionist, set up a dashboard for receptionist, and then when they log on, they all know what receptionist typically would want to see, or the HR manager. So multiple users don't have to set up all their own dashboards, making it far simpler, not only for the installation company to set up, but for the end user to be able to bring on new people and just put them into those roles. Now I'm going to play a short video where you can see us how to set up a dashboard. So here we are, here's a video setting up a dashboard. So you can see, uh, just setting up the security guard within that role. We can then say, what do they want to see? So you can see now how you can change each of the size of the boxes. You can make ones that are more important, uh, bigger or, or, or smaller. So it's a bit like putting together a PowerPoint slide. So when you're using the dashboard, you can then simply double click on any of those boxes and that'll drill in on that information. This is a massive improvement uh, for usability for any operator of the uh, Hike Central and it enables them to use more of the features without needing a two week operating training course or a degree in computer programming. Oh, with loads of features comes lots of options and we've simplified this. You can see from the slide when searching for video before there are eight tabs now we only need four so you can drill down within each of those. When searching for video footage it usually starts with a time frame for example sometime today so by clicking on video search, you can then select which area. I'll play a video shortly and where we'll select warehouse two, that'd be the area. And then it'll show the cameras in that warehouse. We'll then select all of them and that'll bring back a load of thumbnails from all those cameras. And then we'll see some tabs along the top showing either vehicle, person, tags, locked, etc. Because we're interested in people, we'll just select people. So that'll drill down further just to those cameras with the people. So within a few clicks of the mouse, you'll be able to search multiple cameras and find the information you're after. At this point, you could then tag the video or lock it so it doesn't get overwritten and continue your search if there's other events to find. I'll play the video now. I'm now going to introduce the new improvements to our non-CTTV application, Access Control. Access Control Bluetooth. Now this, been, this has been asked for more and more to use your mobile phone as an access control credential. I think it's fair to say if someone forgot their access control fob, they aren't going to go back and get it. But if they forgot their mobile phone, they're far more likely to go back and get it. Well now with the Hike Central app, that's on your phone. So with the right reader and the terminals, this is now fully supported using either NFC or Bluetooth. Here's another short video. This slide is to show you how simple it is to set up your mobile phone as an access control card using NFC. Once HR have enrolled you on the access control system, this is how you do it. Time and attendance, and that's a great add-on to Hike Central. But now, with the latest update, it can help reduce even more the workload for the HR payroll team by allowing each employee to check their own recorded attendance. Also, as this slide shows, it can be used to request time off, perhaps for a holiday. Each employee can check their own attendance records, making it even more flexible for them to query records via their mobile app or web client. Let me play another video.
Depending on the size of each business, sometimes there's multiple layers of approval required. Hike Central can enable each employee to track their application approvals. Particularly useful if they're perhaps wanting to book a holiday and they don't want to lose a deposit. If they can't get the time off knowing it will be sent to the right person for approval. With the time and attendance module, there is a lot of information recorded. As you'd expect now, there is a customizable dashboard to view on Hike Central. Also, to keep things simple, we have 37 preset reports, hopefully covering most of the requirements you'd need, but more can be added. It's all about making it as easy as possible for both the installer and the end user. This module's about the compatibility, which has been greatly improved in version 2.4 with even more of the Hikvision front-end devices. This slide shows the compatibility improvements uh, with some of the Hikvision products, um, e.g. that uh, face recognition reader, we call it a K1T673, you can see what's it's highlighted in Bluetooth, it's now supported. Or the AR, that was that augmented reality that we saw for the Panaview cameras, or the, um, and the speed detection for traffic cameras. So if you want to use Hike Central, uh, not just for monitoring sites, but you want to uh, be able to see some speed detection as well, that's now supported. Open integration. We're a company that want you to buy lots of Hikvision kit, but we recognize we can't do everything. So it's all about compatibility and having that open integration. So we now support the Hua cameras. And there's all, we've also got integration with uh, third-party databases, uh, which uh, you could use perhaps, as we've shown on this slide here, um, on the digital signage module. System improvements. The main improvement is the control client running much faster and smoother. Upgrading will now no longer require the operation to be stopped, so you can be done during normal working hours motion and product materials. Now we've got a marketing portal for information to share with your potential clients so they can request or you can request free trial licenses and they're available on the website. We've got detailed operation videos via our website for each module. With Hike Century it can do so much. Your guys go on the training courses. We've even got an end user training course, but you'll need refreshers. So you can go onto our website and we've got uh, detailed, uh, let's say you want to set up AMPR, you've not done AMPR for six months. You can go onto the website and there's a video on how to set up AMPR on Hike Central. There's also, when you're initially quoting the system, we've got a license selection tool. Uh, so it's gonna be really helpful. Make sure you get all the right licenses. Might even prompt you to, uh, to add add some more as you're designing that system or offer them to your client. So that brings me to the end of this webinar. Thank you ever so much for, for watching. I hope you found it useful and I hope you're now going to share that with all your colleagues so they can all get up to speed with version 2.4.